I've been editing footage this morning that's going to become Florida Beekeepers Part 2. It's about Chris Werner and his crew again. This footage shows some time I spent inside their grafting shack while they were calling out queen cells. It's very interesting in my view. Anybody that's uh, interested in making quality cells will be interested in this segment. And uh, I called Chris and told him that I had some footage of some some of his very worst cells and would he mind if I use that and typical of Chris this is what I would expect him to say he said by all means use it he says that's how people will learn so in this segment we're going to see the good and the bad and the ugly of queen cells and then uh, part three which I'll, I'll try to put out a week from now will be about grafting and their cell builders but today's all about culling queen cells and uh, inspection and quality control Knock, knock. Have you getting lots of shorts yeah. out there? I've been wearing Peter out with questions. He, he's taking it quite well. Doing good. Okay, I'm going to be nosy here. You don't mind. No, go ahead. This cell, what's the red flag there? What's the problem? Uh, let's see. This one came from that rack that just had a lot of everything that had royal jelly just looked really small. So mm -hmm. I just went ahead and popped it open. She was really small. Really, you just have to kind of look at the pattern that you're seeing. Mm -hmm. I had already opened up several and they were like that. Um, there are a couple I opened up and theirs look just fine. So Unfortunately for that one, we try not to open them up, but that one, we just had to get a better look at them. That larva fell. Fell then, off the jelly. And then the pupa pupated upside down. And mm -hmm. most likely, she would never hatch. Right, yeah. Because well, I'm an outstanding Star Wars fan, I use the Force and I recognize those things. And oh, okay. the Force tells me to open it up and take a look at it. Well, that was almost 100%. I see, what, three that didn't take there? Yeah, I can see they shoot out. Mm -hmm. Just oh, yeah, yeah, plus your call, yeah. yeah. Well, the guys that graph for me, they're always very proud when they get 100%. They want to show me, you know. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and who wouldn't, right? Yep, Caleb and I yeah. compete in that area. <laughs> I know we're going to be back on Saturday to watch a graph, too, so. I hope you'll put up with us asking a bunch of questions that day too. So that's interesting. That's a large cell that you just tore apart. Mm -hmm. And it, tell us why. I mean, it was the only one out of this whole frame that had royal jelly still on the top. So it stood out. So we wanted to see on the inside and I opened her up and actually she does look really well. So There's no, no, problem. no problem opening it up and then putting it back in the, okay. No, it's not a germ-free environment in there. And it's, so it's, it's not ideal, but it's still it's okay, better, yeah. the best decision to I've do. done that, you know, taking a cell off a comb and then re reattaching it to another comb. If, if there's a big old gap there, I've never had a problem just sealing it up and sticking it back. As long as you don't hit the larva, I don't think there's a problem. Right. And those are pretty good looking cells. Okay, so now personal question. Which one are you married to? I'm married to Caleb, the to handsome Caleb. one. The handsome one. <laughs> <laughs> He's the tall one with the longer hair. <laughs> okay, I'll let him know you said that. All right. So what do we got temperature-wise? We've got 988 in here right now. Okay, so this bar obviously is different. I see right, some smaller, yep. a few misses. Yep. Well, what do you... Well, this one, for one, it has four bars, and so right away we just, you know, shouldn't have gotten four bars. It should have okay. only gotten three. We got 15 um, on a bar? Yep, 15 okay. on a bar. Fine. So I'm just going to have to pick through them. And so why would ones. they have put 60 in this one instead of 45? Uh, they must have just seen the hive and thought that it looked strong enough to handle four. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes, sometimes not. Well, Chris told me last night, he said, it just doesn't really pay quite often to put the extra 15 in there because by the time you're done calling, you might as well just start with 45. So here, here there's only the 45. 
and it's only four misses. Yeah. And they look great. I mean, I can see the larva, the, the pupas behind down in most all of those. So there's very little to call here versus this one. It had four. And you can see that there's um, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten misses, and then I, there was probably about half a dozen calls. So that's a whole bar. Yeah. You know, so well, we're doing 48 with ours, and uh, I'm with you. I, more is not well. More is less sometimes. Yeah. So Jennifer, are you also the grafter? Yes. Okay. So you're a special person. You're you're an indispensable, essential employee. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> In so many ways. So. Basically, I mean these ones are pretty long, so they're kind of difficult to see inside, but you can usually see inside through the clear cup and see your abdomen, see how big she is. For these ones, sometimes I just pop them open and look at them because I can't really see. Okay. How many cells do you think you're pulling today? Take a guess. I um, usually pull about 1,800. 1,800 at a whack? Is that three times a week? Twice. Twice a week, 1,800. Okay. Looks like you got the ones I'm looking at that she's got. Look like they've still got lots of royal jelly in them. Occasionally they do. Um, we we believe that it's not important that they have to have a lot of royal jelly left. And you know the proof's in the pudding. If the uh, queens are of good size and uh, if the pupas that we're looking at are of good size, there's there's no reason for there to be a whole lot of jelly left. And in fact, some cases when you see jelly left. We'll take a closer look at the cell. It could be they got chilled and uh, never, didn't finish all the food okay. and actually are, are, are not a good quality. That's interesting. Okay, so tell me, you got thumbtacks. I see two thumbtacks on these. What are we, what That's are we got the, going um, We've got the uh, finisher. This is finisher number 39. Uh -huh. Queen Mother's Black. Okay. And it also tells us who grafted. So it's Caleb or Jen. Okay, um, so you can so tell who's messing up then. Who's messing up, <laughs> who's got a headache, that sort of thing. Um, this, obviously this starter's one that with our notes we'd want the boys to take a little bit of look at. Mm -hmm. Well, we put three bars in it and there's some misses. There were a few that I picked off, but not too many. Um, it's one I would want to take a look at and just see what's going on. I see you're writing everything down, okay. There was obviously a difference in your queens, and it's just because you're paying close attention and you care. Um, when I talk to beekeepers at meetings, I actually talk about you a little. And I say, well, the first year I bought queens from you, I immediately recognized that I was having better acceptance and less supersedure. And, uh, you know, Steve Tabor writes about uh, his trip uh, out of Wisconsin with the guy he was studying under, and they did a study to try to figure out who had the best queens. They bought queens from a bunch of producers around the country, Yes. and they found one that was just always superior, that his queens always did better, and they went made a trip around to all these producers, and they visited this guy to see what was going on, and what they figured out is it wasn't had nothing to do with genetics. They were just simply doing a good job, and they they paid attention to all the fine details. Yes. Any questionable cell got culled. Any questionable queen got culled. And of course, he let them lay for a month before he sold them. Right. He's just paying attention to all the small things. It's right. It's, you know, um, they say don't sweat the little things, but in raising queens, you need to sweat, you sweat the little, the little things. things because you know I spoke to to Rossman's once at a meeting a number of years ago and I told him that I was having a hard time getting over 70 percent. Uh -huh. So we were stuck at 70 percent. And at that time, that particular year, he told me, he said, Chris, I would kill for 70 <laughs> percent. And that really surprised me. I remember that. Um, that he would say that. 
be, firstly be that honest, but also that we were doing that well. I didn't think we were doing well. But we began to look at our dividers, we began to look at our boxes, we began to look at everything, and we realized that the, only, the difference between 70% and 80% is only 10%. And if there's three things that we can improve, and we improve with each one of those changes by 3%, we're there. Yeah. And so we started to do that. And then this culling, this is eliminating a lot of virgins that would never have become a queen. Mm -hmm. and, um, in other words, a virgin that would turn into a queen that you would call out later. That we'd call out later or the bees wouldn't accept. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, this is where some of that one, two, three percent comes in, is right here. And then out in the yard also. Um, and it makes a big difference. Yeah. All right. And not dropping these makes a big difference too. Okay, can we take a moment and look sure. at this design? I, is it David Mixa does this, yep. right? This is okay. this is probably attributed to the Mixes. I know Gary with Honeyland Farms uses this same design. Now you worked it's, for Gary for a little I worked while, for Gary. Yeah. He was my mentor for seven years. Okay. And I learned I learned everything about beekeeping from Gary. Okay. And then queen breeding really from the Serbians. So it's really simple. It's just mm -hmm. a uh, pine yep. slots or boards with a piece, piece of loo on in between. Yeah. yeah, and the reason we have this cut like this is it fits into the incubator better mm -hmm. if you come with a chicken incubator. Yeah, which we do and also. Also, when you're pulling it in and out of our incubator, you don't have a sharp corner to catch. Okay. It'll roll off of the edge. You don't want these things to be jolted at all. Right. And if you're moving rapidly and you catch it on something and your hand slips, you could drop it and then it's, you I, might as well I throw it like away. I like that. It's, it's a mm -hmm. backup system for clumsy beekeepers. Yeah. So 44, 45% humidity, are you happy with that? It will be up higher once the doors remain shut. Okay. We'd like to see it above 50%. Yeah. Okay. But we're opening and closing that door and the light bulb is staying on. So it's... Uh, Man, I see a lot of wet rags, wet, wet, wet. So this is heated with the light bulbs? Correct. Okay. So you can have 1,800 cells in here when you're done. Lord willing. Time. Okay, I got to ask. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of money going to be in sitting in this incubator before yes. it's over. Yes. Have you ever had your incubator fail on you? No, but see what it says on that door? The fan should be running 93 degrees, yeah. And if it isn't, call Chris. So I mean, Peter, Peter probably makes four trips a day out here. Anytime Caleb walks by, he takes a look at it. I make a final in the evening check of it. The only time this thing could ever be out for any good long length of time is at night and there's a heat bank of water bottles in there. Um, the daytime is actually the, the most dangerous. We leave a window open so it doesn't get too hot in here. Um, but yeah, we're checking it all the time, but we've never had it fail. Um, we've had the, the uh, a light bulb burn out, but there's three light bulbs. So what we do with yours, because you've requested a special queen, we use a different cell cup. Oh, so you go by the color. We color. go by the cell cup color. Yeah. Then we know we're using one of your queen mothers. I like that. That's a beekeeper's business hours right there. 